A rubber band powered car project. It needs to be cardboard. Uh, you can use paper, tape, glue, one paper clip, two pencils, and it has to go three meters at one meter per second. Uh, I'm not sure about the speed, but I'll do my best. And one rubber band. Don't say what size rubber band, but usually people want size 64 rubber bands, so we'll try one of them. For cardboard, I've been to the supermarket and got this empty box. Uh, this one actually says cream crackers on it. So that's the cardboard I'm going to use. Uh, I've got some scissors, I've got some pencils, uh, I've got a ruler, I've got a compass for drawing circles for the wheels, and I've got some craft glue. Uh, which usually takes a bit of time to dry, so we might have to do this project, glue it up and then wait for it to dry before we can actually test it. So I'll move the camera a bit and then I'll cut up this cardboard.
cardboard wheels are always pretty rubbish to be honest they bend too easily so what I'm doing is where the grain of the cardboard is going that way the corrugations I'm putting a bit of cardboard at right angles to that to stiffen it strengthen it One thing very important with the car, if you want it to go straight, you need to keep your axles parallel, front and back. Now normally, I glue um, drinking straws or something and use them as the axle tubes. And I can put them right along the line there and be sure that they're parallel. But on this build, we can't use drinking straws, so I'm gonna bend up the cardboard and put a hole through the cardboard to use as the axle holes or guides. The width of the body of the car is going to be less than the width of your pencil, otherwise your wheels won't fit on.
Right, we'll leave that lot to dry. Hopefully the glue's dry now. It's been about an hour or so. Maybe not, that's still a bit soft. No, I better leave it a bit longer.
Now for a test run. I've already given it one test run and we've got no grip. These cardboard wheels uh, are not the best idea. So I've put some weight in here. Now I don't know if you're allowed to do that on your project. So if you're not allowed to put weight in there, then you could make the wheels bigger. Because the bigger they are, the better they'll grip. That's bigger diameter. Or you could make them wider that way. But you might have problems with the weight then. So my advice, if you're not allowed to add weight to hold it on the ground, then change your wheels out for much bigger ones. This bit of string, I'm wrapping round the axle so it wraps over itself and that holds it in place. But I can't really show you me doing that because I can't get the camera there at the same time. I don't know if you can see that. So the string's wrapping over itself. That's holding it tight. I've got the track laid out. There's a little blue thing up there. That's on the three meter mark. So if we go past that, we're okay. And the start line is just here. Yeah, that seemed okay, did about four meters.